What's going on guys? Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you some great tips in getting as high a level in power as possible. Now I have seen guys from many people talking of such ways to get a high power level but not really many on the fastest way and that's what I'm going to show you guys in today's video. The grind will be real but that's the point. This in my opinion though is the quickest grind route. It does come with a few barriers though. But before we get into them, if you guys want to be in with a chance of winning a Rockstar Destiny 2 in-game gear code, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Okay, so if you are watching this video, no doubt you were, like me, stuck in terms of climbing the power level ladder up to that 300 or above. The tips today I will discuss are great and will help you, but there are barriers which you might not want to do and it will take a grind. So if you are stuck at around a power level of 265, you will notice less and less ways of improving your power level. Exotics, the Nightfall, the Flashpoint weekly activity, weapon quests and a few other things will help you. Issue is, no doubt you've already done them here, which is fair enough. So what I suggest you do is, and because it's early days, I suggest you start a new character, make this character the same class as your first character and simply run the full campaign story again. If you do this with the help of friends at a higher power level, it won't take you too long at all. Even do it in a fresh started fire team, it still won't take you too long either. Now upon doing this and completing the story, here is what you want to do. Apply all your highest gear from your first character onto your second character and start from this point. Firstly, the exotic engram Safala as for you when you complete the story. This will be a higher level than what it initially would be if you didn't apply your highest level gear. So this will help you out. From here, you can do quests on each planet. These again will drop at great high levels. That being the Mira Mini Tool and Mira Multi Tool from the EDZ, the Man of War from IO, the Rat King from Titan, and the Drang and Sturb from Nessus. All these will offer you great gear at a higher level than what you currently are. You then have exotic engrams which you can grind for and I'm currently working on a complete guide to exotic engrams which will be uploaded soon. It might even be already on my channel by the time you watch this so check the top of the video description. You then have the nightfall which you can do, then the prestige version. These both will give you great high level loot and obviously the higher you are going into these the easier they will be. Flashpoints as well are normally a great thing, but I am hearing people say that for the second time of them doing it, you have a chance of getting lower level gear, which is weird, but it's still worth the risk and your time trying it though. You can also do the weekly crucible milestone, which gives you a powerful engram. And also guys, if you're in a clan, your clan objectives, you can earn powerful engrams, which do also help you out big time. Now this whole process isn't an easy one. But if you ask anyone who's a higher power level than 280, this is what they're doing. I'm just about to start my third character. But I have friends who have done this up to four times now. On screen now you will see my pal Easy Now's Warlock. This was before he started his fourth character. And you can see the level of some of his gear is immense. It seriously is. At the end of the day, it will be limited if you don't do this. But for those of you who are serious and want to be a higher level than what you are, this is the way forward, but it does take a grind. But yeah, guys, here are the tips I suggest you do to level up as fast as possible. What puts most people off, though, is the fact you will have to have multiple of the same character. That actually is only a set time thing. Once you reach a level of really high gear, nothing is stopping you creating a new character. Reaching a level 20 on that character and infusing some of your spare armor from your highest level character into that newly freshly made character. You then in turn will have a high leveled, different classed character. For me, I'm going to make three or four hunters first. Once I get that real high power leveled gear, I will then start with a titan and then make a warlock. But it does make sense making multiple characters of the same character class first taking advantage of all three of these to get as high a power level as possible, then deleting one which you won't need, obviously take all his gear off him though, and create a new character. And then once you complete the story and reach that level 20, you can simply transfer spare armor across, infuse it into whatever he's got, and you are done there. Simple as that. But yes guys, I hope this helps you out. If you are new around here and enjoy Daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully people, I will see you on the next one. Always in the wrong Knowing where we stand